Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of Life is Strange. I just had to replay through a little bit of that intro, or that part. Uh, so let's get this flash drive going. Uh, my last episode I was attempting to record... Wait, we can look at the toilet paper? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. <laughs> Why could I... I could use the fire alarm? Let's look. At least that's an alarm from this century. Uh, weird. Um, <clears throat> I recorded at dead 60, and when I render it, I only have the option of 59 point whatever, 94, and it wasn't, was like glitching when I rendered it, so now I'm recording at 59.94 to see if that'll fix it in my renderer. But, uh, got a message from Warren. Jesus, these texts. Just massive. Uh, so you're running late in the same day, meet you in the lot. Okay, so you see how I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. It's the truth. We're taking this long. Um, I don't know if I went over those on camera. I think I did. But yeah, let's get... Let's get out of here. Let's go see Warren. Uh, Kate is gone. This girl is still here. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Shh. Fuck this shit! Damn it. Just like, now it's like messing me up. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Okay, so or Julia. <clears throat> it's not addressing him, it's addressing her. Oh, what is going on? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Cool. Um. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Cool. I'm making friends. Hell yeah! Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else we can talk to in here. I don't think we can go in this house either. Yeah. Alright, let's get over to that parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, it's Kate. No, What's going and on? leave me alone. Uh. Oh God. Take a photo. I'm a photographer, right? You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please leave me alone. Photos last forever, so. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Aww. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and yeah, try something different. Yeah, let's rewind. Because I want Kate to be our friend. She's rad. Go to main campus. Full space to skip. Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Fuck the police. <laughs> oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. Why do you have to it go? It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. All I right. felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. That's fine, he's a Maybe. dick. Stop. 
go flying her little drone around and everything. Oh, we don't even get to walk there, it just walks for us. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I better yeah. go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. More Illuminati stuff? What's up with this Juliet girl? I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria oh, do that to me? Yeah. Can I not? Oh, I can talk to you still. Okay. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Um... Uh, yeah, I apologize. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. <laughs> ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. All right. I think I'm going to try to be everyone's friend for as long as I can. What does that say? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Interesting. All right, let's go talk to Warren. I don't think there's Max, much else. Get your ass over here. Missing person poster? Oh, that's all right. What's up, dude? Let's just look at you first. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? <laughs> what up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Awkward. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Yeah, it has. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Oh, I didn't take a photo, did I? Uh, what do I s I guess, yeah, I'll just ask. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh... I don't- I didn't check it, did I? Um, I don't know. I, do I lie? No. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. I can, there's like no good option here. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> so you're sensitive. Twilight F the world. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um, I'm gonna go with... I'm not trying to be awful. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will, too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Um, let's talk to him about it. He seems like a pretty decent guy. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. <laughs> Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Oh, you best shit. tell me what you saw. Now! 
Um, what Answer you, me, bitch! What are you talking about? What are you about? talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Oh, shit. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I'm just gonna play it angry, I guess. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! What a dick. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the down. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Oh shit. Ryan, Max! Oh, my. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Okay. <laughs> Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Um, <clears throat> I have no idea. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Um, no, dude, Seattle's awesome. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Ooh. Um, gonna go the, down the route that I shouldn't, but I wanted to. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Uh... haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully <laughs> stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, <laughs> shit home. Yeah. Nice.
My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Can we look around, or should I just... I'll just put music on right now. It won't play without any power. Um... She looks super happy. Oh, ripping a bong. Cool. Apparently, I can't put music on. Bag box. Unless I use, like, the TV. Oh, power strip? Switch on. Good call. Let's turn this bitch on. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Oh, I actually have to go and look for music, huh? Is there, uh, like, a CDs? Girl, where your CDs at? Right, because it still won't let me use it. Yeah, it won't let me use it. Power strips on. Some f pictures in there. Paper. I guess let's check the drawer. We had nope. such a blast drawing these together. Nice. These are actually pretty rad. Alright, I just don't want to like grab something I can't use, but I mean, I might as well, like... <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Yeah, definitely not doing that. Um, Dude, where do you keep your damn shit, lady? Like, I can't... I can't... I can't turn it on. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. I guess let's check this drawer. Oh, totally why are we totally there? changed her style. I barely recognized her. Yeah. Um. Let's look. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Unless I can... No, I can't walk back there. I'm gonna regret looking in this box, I know. Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. Yeah. Is this just to search the desk? I think this junk swallowed her desks. Oh, okay. Alright. Did I find one? I did not find one. Uh, I think this junk's bollocks. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Hmm. They must have been close. Ah, uh, dude, I'm gonna look in this box. I'm sorry. Alright, nailed it. Try everything first. <laughs> and that's a pit picture of the Rachel girl, isn't it? Oh, shit. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Oh, shit. I'm gonna ask. Just because I'm so curious. who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... Angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. 
She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Uh, LA's for suckers. Um, so what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Damn. How do you know? Yeah. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, dude. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. I'm sorry you're sad. Just harp in your buzz. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Yeah, for sure, I guess. Lame! Uh, can we, yeah, let's look at this. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Yeah, beer and cigarettes. Alright, I think that is going to... Do it for this episode guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.